Hi everyone. Firstly, a big thank you to you all for following our Camino adventures and for not judging the quality of our videos too harshly. It's always hard to judge content and the old saying, togs, togs, undies, was often in my mind while editing. But given it was all done on a small cell phone, hopefully we were still able to give you some idea of what walking the Camino de Santiago with your best friend would be like. Please forgive my voice. As you all know, I'm currently suffering from the deadly debilitating man flu, and so my normal husky voice is somewhat worse. Now when Gaelin told me of her desire to walk the Camino Santiago, it is possible all I heard was Spain and three months off work. But naturally, when I realised the full extent of her madness, I tried to talk into other softer options like only walking the last 100 kilometres. But to no avail, she was walking the full 798 with or without me. So the training began and soon the blisters arrived and we learned about Vaseline and tapes for our feet and multiple shoes were tried and cast aside and then there was the visit to the back specialist who I remember laughing hysterically until his eyes watered and then when he realised there was no punchline and I was serious he wrote me a large prescription for so many painkillers I felt like a drug mule. You often wonder what life might be like post children and if this trip is anything to go by then we are very lucky. We seem to complement each other so well. Galen can find a way across the world but it's lost when we are a street away from our accommodation. I can't organise travel but I can find my way back to any point as long as I've seen it at least once. Galen is very good at budgeting and I am very good at spending. She hates clothes shopping and shoe shopping. I love it. She sends postcards to herself. I don't. We are fortunate we both love to explore and no matter what time or how tired we are, neither of us can resist seeing everything each destination has to offer. And so we arrived in Spain and off we went. And it has been a great, amazing journey. So much history, so much to explore, so much walking. We walked at our own Camino at our own pace, but we made friends and lost them again as they walked their own Caminos, only to arrive in a totally new town to the excited shouts across the busy plaza of hello you made it from friends lost in earlier days. And we did the same, we took our rest days and our sly friends caught us up. Anyway, here we are in Santiago, here at the thick end of a thousand kilometres my back is shot, I have man flu, and it was a fantastic experience, and I couldn't imagine walking a thousand kilometres with or for anybody else. P.S. Sorry it was all a bit mushy, it may be the drugs I'm taking, thanks to the back specialist. So now we say adios Spain and buongiorno Italy. Stay tuned for our new adventures.